He was on TV tonight, and he didn't quite get to finish his statement. So I've asked him if he would get come out and make his comments about why he supports our foreign policy, why he is fighting for the Constitution, and what he thinks we should do. But I would like to invite out now Jesse Thorson to come out and say a few words to you. Thank you. How about Ron Paul? If there's any man out there that's had a vision for this country, it is definitely him. His foreign policy is by far, hands down, better than any candidates out there, and I'm sure you all know that. We don't need to be picking fights overseas, and I think everybody else knows that, too. I, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted right now. This is an incredible moment for me. I can't believe it. It's like meeting a rock star. But you know what? We're going to go to New Hampshire. We're all going to get involved. We're going to keep getting online. We're going to keep talking to people. And we are going to make sure this man is the next president of the United States. Thank you much, very much. That is a powerful message. And once again, we all know where the active military people send their money when they're campaigning. They send it to our campaign for liberty, our campaign for the Constitution, our campaign for liberty of government, our campaign for personal liberty and privacy, and a wise foreign policy. The most important thing, the most important thing we have to remember is uh, we want to have influence in the world. That's very important. We want to be active in the world. We want to talk to people and work to pe people, trade with people, and be friends with people. But uh, what we need to realize is our ways, you know, there's people who say that uh, we are an exceptional nation, and we certainly are and have been, but we're slipping. But this idea that our exceptionalism out of desperation say that we are so exceptional, what we must do is prove it to the world. We have to f send our troops around the world and force it down their throats. If they don't do it, we'll, you know, invade them and occupy them and force election on them. I'll tell you the best way to spread our message, and that is do our job at home. Preserve our liberties at home. Provide the free market. Have a sound currency. Balance the budget. Set an example and get them, the rest of the world, to emulate us. That is the road to peace and prosperity. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so Ron Paul, you hear him speaking to his supporters there in Iowa. He has come in third, but not very far behind the top two, Rick Santorum and Mitt Romney.